psychodynamic theories. This approach considers behavior of the persons that would be dri driven by motivational force. Motivational force ก็คือแรงขับนะ in Thai it's แรงขับ something that stimulus or something that could motivate you to react in different way. Freudian theory would be one of psychodynamic theories. Freud approach includes concepts that involve genetic origins, biosocial instincts, and unconscious processes, as well as co-directed motivational dynamics. Structure of personality. Different people deal with their fundamental drive, eros and tanatras. Eros mean uh, life instinct, and tanatras mean dead instinct. Eros is uh, like uh, mm, sob and love instinct that could drive you in a positive way. But tanatras mean it's a dead instinct or Instincts that tend to um, have destructive result for your life, of your life. Uh, Freudian theory emphasizes on three parts of the self, that is it, ego and superego. The part that is called it would be in Thai, could be called Sandan Dip, a primitive unconscious part of personality. This one would be opposite to super ego. Super ego would be the one that is with consciousness or conscience. Super ego corresponds lovely to the conscience. It develops when a child internalizes the prohibition of parents and other adult against certain kinds of actions. Super ego can be uh, uh, considered as ego ideal. Uh, super ego and it often fighting against each other. Ego would be the one in the middle. Uh, Super ego would often be conflict with it, but ego would be the media part that mean in between super ego and it. Ego represent the picture of individual at I mean and sociality of what will lead to what and which things are possible in the world. It's the real world ego. Some people, you, some of you might have heard about egoism. That means uh, some people like to show off themselves. The super ego function like moral principle, and it is just like primitive characteristic of a person. If super ego and it are in conflict, ego would be the one to compromise between the two so that it will come out softly and in a satisfying situation. Sometimes you might have heard about defense mechanism. That means something that you use to defend yourself in Thai, it's like kogetua. You try to find some reasoning to support whatever decision you made. Another theory to introduce to you is human, humanistic theory. This approach is it's concerned about humanitarian values. 
Carl Rogers is one of those psychologists and searcher uh, studies, um, including Maslow, uh, talking about self-actualization. That means it's uh, the top priority of each person to show that whatever that you dream for, you can do it. Slide number 27 is about the same thing that uh, social psychologists like Abraham Maslow talking about human nature and human needs. That usually they have at least five five uh, categories uh, beginning from basic needs. The second one, the first priority is basic needs. The second one is safety needs. If the lower needs are fulfilled, then they continue to the higher one. Uh, after safety needs, they would consider and looking for sense of belonging. That's why people never want to be alone. They want to be accepted by society, by people at large. The fourth one is self-esteem. Self-esteem is the one that most people would like to have. It means you have self-respect for yourself. If you fulfill for that, you can go to the top priority that is self-actualization. For example, like someone like to be the prime minister, or some, some people like to be the leader of the community, something like that. And then they try to find a way to reach that. Another theory is learning theory. This is like conditional learning. It's like uh, they control and they condition uh, whatever you want to see, how they react to the condition. Like uh, when you give the dog a meat at the same time that you ring the bell. And then if you repeat that, process for a certain time later on uh, when you give the meat to the dog and ring the bell and the bell know that after the ring bell they, they, they will get the meat and then uh, they will secrete the saliva every time that they ring they hear the ring bell so uh, if they repeat, if we repeat that process for a certain time, we will see that after all, even we ring the bell without meat, the dog will secret the saliva, and you, we will see that the dog, the saliva of the dog is coming out because they learn that every time they hear the, the ringing bell, they will get the meat. This is conditional learning. Sometimes people should learn to have tension reduction and uh, early learning. So human beings never stop learning. They would learn almost all their lifetime so that they can adjust themselves and improve and develop themselves. Um, Sometimes they have to learn from the society what we call it, social learning, uh, to understand human personality, you have to learn social learning and see how the social stimuli can motivate people to behave differently. Knowing yourself and other is a key to understanding a person, including understand, understanding yourself, to know that what kind of needs that you can achieve and what kind of needs that you have not met and then how can you strive for that. So you have to learn how to reach that goal. 
That means in a lifetime, at least you should have your pur- life purpose and philosophy of your life so that you know what you set for your life in the future. When you are in the community, in society, you have to interact with the other people. Sometimes you try and you want to try to be like the other people, and sometimes the other people like to be like you. Okay? BLM stands for Be Like Me, and BLT stands for Be Like Them. So when some people don't want to be their own self, they try to be the other people, they try to imitate the other people, so they would get stressed sometimes. They have to, that means they don't know themselves well enough. They will have a problem. They have to adjust and adapt themselves. They, they must have to reduce their symptoms and try to be their own self. Don't try to be like the other. Try to be yourself is the best policy for yourself. Okay. So that you don't have to blame the other if something happened to you. So um, it's better for you to understand yourself well enough. Don't try to be like the other people and be yourself. So you should know yourself well enough and know what you want, what you should do to achieve your life goal and what you should do to have a happy life in the future. Try to find out what you really want, not what the other people tell you to be. Whatever you do, it's better to understand yourself enough so that you can interact with the other people properly. So if you know and understand your interaction style with the other people, it will benefit for you how you can deal with the other people to find a way to be successful in your career life and your professional life. Thank you. I wish you well for studying this topic. Thank you.